This video lecture is about Samudra Gupta uh, of Gupta Empire, its rule and history in Indian subcontinent. In 335 AD, Chandra Gupta first died and after his death, Samudra Gupta became the king or ruler of Gupta Empire. We have several sources of information for the history of Samudra Gupta. Uh, one is inscriptions and the other one is coins. Uh, the inscriptions in, in inscription uh, it include Alabad pillar inscription, the urn stone inscription, the Nalanda copper plate inscription and the Gaia copper plate inscription. From these two sources uh, i.e. inscriptions and coins uh, historian and scholars have developed the history or rule uh, in Gupta Empire uh, of Samudra Gupta. When Samudra Gupta became the ruler or king of Gupta Empire, he started a series of conquests and expedition and conquered the whole of Indian subcontinent. And this is why Dr. Miss, uh, Smith has given him the title of the Indian Napoleon. When Samudra Gupta became the ruler, he conquered northern India or the kingdoms in northern India. Uh, these kingdoms in northern India were called Aryavatra. Then he uh, conquered or uh, started the conquest of Atavika. Uh, Atavika uh, were kingdoms of Ghazipur and Jabalpur. Then he started conquest of southern India and uh, he conquered uh, uh, whole the southern state but he does not annex these states within his empire but only uh, made them as a submitted state or dominion state these southern states or kingdoms were semi-independent in the gupta empire later he started expedition in the east in west frontier state and uh, conquered the eastern and western frontier states when samudra gupta uh, conquered the whole of indian subcontinent so the neighboring uh, kingdoms or empires started a uh, diplomatic and foreign relationship with samudra gupta the Khushan king uh, in uh, Central Asia also established foreign or diplomatic relationship with Samudra Gupta. Uh, the Persian king, uh, a ruler also established foreign or diplomatic relationship with Samudra Gupta. And Ceylon, which is now a day called Sri Lanka, his ruler um, uh, Meha Varman also established foreign or diplomatic relationship with Samudra Gupta. From this, uh, scholars and historian developed that Samudra Gupta was a powerful and uh, great ruler or emperor uh, in Indian subcontinent. At last, we can conclude that Samudra Gupta was a great conqueror because he conquered northern and southern India and the frontiers of eastern and western of Indian subcontinent and the kingdoms included in these areas. Uh, Samudra Gupta can also be regarded as a great statement. Um, as we can look that he administered a vast empire in Indian subcontinent, so he may be labeled as a statement. Uh, when he conquered the southern states in India or southern kingdoms in Indian subcontinent so he only just uh, made his sovereignty over them not made them completely annexed or conquered these states were semi-independent therefore uh, the geniusness can be seen in the Samudra Gupta rule and he can be regarded as a statement uh, so, so, so Samudra Gupta was also an administrator. He administered uh, the whole Gupta Empire or the whole Indian subcontinent. He divided his state into different provinces and uh, every provinces in uh, uh, districts. So he administered a um, great administrative empire uh, and a vast empire. So he may be regarded 
as a great administrator. Uh, Samudra Gupta was also a lover of art and architecture. He, he built uh, many art and architectural buildings in Indian subcontinent. Uh, uh, furthermore, Samudra Gupta was uh, also be regarded as benevolent despot. When he uh, attacked some areas uh, or rebellions, so he crushed them with the iron hand or with uh, shed of blood so he may be regarded as a despot but however uh, when a state submitted to him so he uh, forget forgive them and granted them semi independency so this was his uh, generosity uh, in which uh, he may be regarded through which he may be regarded is a benevolent despot. Samudra Gupta died in 375 AD after a reign of about 45 years and he ruled over a whole of Indian subcontinent. Uh, when he died in 375 AD, his son Ch Chandra Gupta II uh, ascended the throne of Gupta Empire.